Oh, hey, boys, we're playing Woodlands tomorrow. Let's get everyone to come watch us smash these dirty pricks. Yeah, they beat us last year. They ain't beating no. us again. Biggest no cheats. Oh, hey, boys, we'll get the Facebook group started. Let's get everyone to come watch us yeah. smash them. Yeah, get Jordy, get all of them. Baba, Jalen. Jade, get yeah. Them, boys. Especially that Scotty dog. Yeah, Scotty, just smash him. Up our cups all around for that dirty prick. Yeah, sweet boys, I'm going to send out a text to everyone and just tell them, tell them to be there. Oh, you will. Did you get the text? No. Check out your text. Oh, yeah, I got it on. Oh, yeah. oh, pass it on. Yeah, pass it on. Oh, no, did you just get it? Mm. Make sure you forward it to you. Yeah, pass it on. Oi. Cameron's gonna bash that hooker from Wundle's heart. Oh, oh mad, bro. Fuck. Awesome, bro. Well, everyone's coming, look. Everyone's, everyone's coming. coming. Everyone's coming, Heaven's that. He's gonna be leaving the field oh. on the stretcher. Oh, yeah. The gone, bro. He's gone. Woodlands, full back. Is our target. Emma, okay. look, that's a Woodlands fullback. It's the one that's gonna get smashed today. Who's that? The Woodlands fullback. He'll be going home in a stretcher. Oh. I want to talk to you before we go down to the paddock, all right? That was a dirty win of theirs last time. Let's not let that happen today. Let's hit him first and hit him hard. All right, boys, I got that Scotty kid, the hooker. If you see anything, make sure you're back now, all right? You heard him. Yeah. If anything happens, get in there and help him out. Let's smash them today, boys. Let's put them out for the season. Hey boys, we're playing Woodlands tomorrow. Let's get everyone to come watch us smash these dirty pricks, eh? Hey? Scotty, the hooker. Shred said smash him, he cheated last year. Yeah, he's the hooker boy, he's a smash him, I hate him. Break their noses and shit. <laughs> Yeah, look, we've had an incident down here at the high school and um, we need um, an ambulance and a couple of paramedics uh, straight away, please. Yeah, as soon as you can. Okay, I need a word. How are the boys? Wait, 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 wait. Are there any serious injuries? No, they're all right. Just a couple of scopes. They're not tough, you know. Right, Sam? Which I could say the same for the other team. We have an ambulance coming. I've got to write a full report on this. The way I saw it was that you were revving them up. You were encouraging them. No, I'm not revving them were. up. These boys are going to win the Have you read the you know? Code of Conduct? I have read the Code have of Conduct. And yeah. the, the Code of Conduct is that this is a tough right, game. That is not the way you behave this as a It's a tough coach. game. That might be your view, but that's what's going in my report. It won't change my mind. Could you just uh, tell me what happened, mate? The riff should have had it under control, like from the you know, very beginning. And... My boy, he's number 15, and he just spoke to me this morning. He was pretty revved up. Um, he was saying that all the boys were revved up, and they're actually targeting one boy in particular. My son's got a broken nose. OK. He got taken away. But like, who's going to pay for that? It's rugby league. They're going to hit each other. I think they were texting all day yesterday, and it's kind of going back and forth. OK. Yeah. You don't know how it started? I don't know how it started. I couldn't see exactly. I think there's a bit of Facebook, Facebook. Um, you know, bullying and stuff like that that was going on. Do you know um, which one in particular? Uh, number 12 or 10, I don't know. So did you uh, did you tell anyone after your son told you this morning or did you keep it to yourself? Um, basically, yeah, I just thought, you know, boys, boys. Unfortunately, a fight has taken place and it appears like it's been premeditated, meaning this has actually been planned yeah. before the game's taken place. Mm. And that's not part of the game. That's not within the realms of sport. So it's now it's a criminal offence and the police are actually investigating this as a very serious criminal offence. What they've done is they've started circulating text messages, they've set up a Facebook page and they're encouraging each other and letting people know what they plan to do during the match the next day. So the one thing that's going to happen here is the police are going to be able to establish that this was 
premeditated. They will be able to go back and look at the Facebook entries, they'll be able to look at the mobile phones, they'll be able to look at the text messages that have occurred, and they will be able to piece together exactly what has gone on leading up to that uh, assault occurring on the football field. If it's proved to be premeditated, if it's proved that these you know, posts and texts are sorting out to commit an act of violence upon someone, they can be charged and they can be charged along the lines of assault, assault occasionally actual bodily harm. And even the offence of a fray uh, can take place as players join the field from the sideline to engage themselves in the brawl. I can imagine some of you that are watching this will be thinking, hey, those boys are going to be suspended. They're not going to be able to play the game anymore. Actually, it's a lot more serious for them than not being able to play the game anymore because there is a police investigation underway and a number of those boys are going to find themselves being charged with serious criminal offences. Depending on the, the level of charge, uh, a large fine or even imprisonment, up to two years, in some cases, imprisonment. What about the parents here? There was one parent there whose son went to the trouble of telling her and pointing out the person that they were going to assault on the football field. And what did she do? She did nothing. What she should have done was she should have gone and told the referee and explained to him what had been going on and the referee could have then taken appropriate action. Um, can I have a word please? Sure. Um, I've just been overhearing some of the boys back there and I'm really concerned that they're going to be targeting um, one individual in particular on field and it looks like it's going to be quite messy. Targeting in terms of what? Um, they're talking about a fight and actually bashing him and um, yeah, it's, it sounds quite serious. Okay, thanks for that look. It's not part of the spirit of the game. I'll talk to the coaches and the players and calm them all down. Okay, Thank all you. Right. Thanks, thanks for that. Yeah. Certainly the coach could have handled it different. Uh, his rhetoric was certainly towards violence and encouraging violence uh, from the dressing room. He wasn't doing his job as a coach. You know, at the end of the day he was uh, encouraging them and afterwards when they were all on the sideline he's giving them high fives. You know, not realising that, you know, on the other team, um, you know, some kid might have a broken nose or a broken jaw. Uh, now the cops are involved, uh, the ambulance are there. He's actually put himself at risk as well, not only from a point of view of breaching the code of conduct of what we expect of our coaches, but he also could uh, find himself up in trouble with the law as well because he's encouraged the violence to occur. All it would have taken is for one person who saw, the, saw a text or saw a post to say, listen, you know, that's not right. Then that would have got a lot of other kids to sort of stand up and say, listen, just go out there and, and beat them fair and square. You know, there's no need for fighting. The players' friends, have to, they have to look after each other. They have to talk to each other to say this is wrong and, and play in the right spirit. It's all about um, playing hard but playing fair and having respect for one another.